Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how to save settings from your editor utility widgets uh, in between sessions. So this could be used to create a user profile or save uh, settings that users, you know, frequently use on a given tool, or even in this case, we're going to save an array of textures using the, uh, our, our texture exporter tool. Um, we're just going to keep that selected texture array in between different sessions of opening and closing the engine. But what we can do here, we can save, we're going to set this up so we can save any type of data. Um, and yeah, um, we'll just get to that. So let's dive right in. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is just create a new C++ class. And we're going to use a primary data asset. So we can just open up all classes, primary data asset. Here we go. Perfect. So we can click next. Um, sure. That would be fine for this. And we'll create the class. So let's pop over to our IDE. Okay. So here's Rider. This is our primary data asset. There you go. So we got our header file and we have our CTP file. We actually don't need this at all, so we can just exclude it. We're just going to be uh, we're just going to be defining a couple of arrays in the header file. So this is all it will need. Close that. Public. So this will be a new property. And we'll do blueprint right. And then we'll, of course we'll have our array. So we'll do a T array. And it'll be new texture pointers. And we'll call this texture. Okay, just make sure that's capitalized. Okay, and that's all we need to do. Actually, just looking at this, we're going to add save. We're just going to make this saved texture file, right? Oops, perfect. Okay, so let's build and save this. Close the editor. We can just run the project. Okay, great. And coming back into Unreal, uh, first thing we need to do is let's make a quick folder here. Okay, so now is create a child of our C++ class. And you can come down here to miscellaneous data asset and here we can select the parent class and um, so ours was my primary data asset like that we'll just call this the utility data now we can go over to our utility widget right here and we'll just open that up we're going to do a couple of things here we're going to add a button with some text on it this is just going to say clear array we'll add a button press functionality I would say that. Next thing we need to do is create a variable to hold our primary data asset. Um, so we can just call this uh, saved data. And the type is going to be our primary, primary data asset. OK, and if we compile that and come down to the bottom here. This is where we can drop in our uh, 
child. So we do this and this. And now we pull this out. We can get him. And inside here, we can get our get same texture files array. This button is just going to clear the array. Okay. So that you can see over here, we've got our clear button array now. Uh, so that's going well. So with that done, we can move on to actually populating our details pane here and keeping uh, and reading stored data from the uh, from the primary data asset. Uh, and to do that, basically when we load the editor utility widget um, during construction, we want to scan our save file for any variables or references that we that we want to keep uh, in memory or, or in the save file. So we can do that on construction and so we can do this, and then we can get our reference here to our saved data file. And then with that, of course, we're going to get our, we can just copy this down here. I'm just going to get this same array. It's the only array in this save file, but uh, that'll be good. What we want to do is we actually want to copy this into our uh, the array that we would normally build with our texture samples. And so, because we are a because we created this class in C++, um, and if we come over here, this is the array that we want to populate. And so that's nativeized inside here. So we can actually just go texture files. And we can set this. And so if we come here, so on construct, we're just going to set the contents of the save file to our uh, blueprint uh, new texture array. Uh, and with that done, we're going to want to come up here. And we're going to want to also, when we get our texture samples, we need to save our, uh, we need to make sure that those are being recorded also into our saved uh, data. So over here, we can just do a quick, we can get uh, a reference. We can set texture array. And just drag that across. And then this this is our return array um, uh, that we're populating, and we're just going to make sure that that goes into our save data array. And then we need to make sure we actually trigger a save on this. So save asset. Let me just put the save loaded asset. Okay, and that's going to be this. This is the asset that we want to save. When we have 30, I'm just going to make sure it saves every single time. So turn that off. Shouldn't make a difference. Um, but if we compile and save, and compile and save, let's give this a shot. If we come up to our parent folder, and run our editor utility widget, we can select a material instance, get our texture samples. Um, and now if we close this and reopen it, uh, these textures are not there. That is because we are not actually setting the details box. So this should be down here. Um, so this is actually just telling the Blueprint to, to populate the details panel. Um, so now, okay, there you go. Um, so we save that. 
And now if we close this and reopen it, there you go. So we're saving data in our editor utility widgets from between uh, opening and closing. And that'll, that'll function as well if we close the engine here. Let's just save this. And if we reopen it, those will still be there. So um, here we are with the engine reopen, and you can see that the data has been uh, maintained. And then, of course, if we want to clear this array, um, oh, so the, we're clearing the array. Well, okay, so I see what's happening. Um, to make this clear array button even more effective, we also need to clear. So there's two arrays that are involved here, um, but we would also need to clear the this and clear. Okay, so now select our material instance, get our array, clear our array, get a material instance, close, and Reopen and everything there is saved. And you can save anything you like inside these uh, primary data asset files. You know, mostly you're going to be saving references and, and settings and variables that artists might want to, to maintain across multiple uh, sessions um, or even across whole projects. You might be able to dial in settings for specific tool sets um, and set those up so it's very easy for artists to pick up a specific, let's say, asset patch or or, or asset pack or assembly and begin, you know, having their tools sort of with, with approved materials and textures and assets already selected um, from sort of a library. Uh, so they can just jump in and get right to work. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, if you have any questions about how to save um, editor utility widget settings and files between sessions, uh, leave a comment, let me know. Thanks, bye.